Okay, let's see how to install the NetBeans and the JDK. First start a browser and uh, in a Google search, let's search for GDK NetBeans 8, 8 is the version. And the first one is uh, the NetBeans plus GDK bundle. This is what we will need. And in the download page, first accept the license agreement. And then these links will be clickable. There are different operating systems and different bit numbers. X86 is the 32-bit version and X64 is the 64-bit version. Which one do you need? I suppose that you know which operating system you are using. I use currently Windows. So the question for me is which version I should download and install. How to figure out? Let's right click on the computer and in the properties you will see the system type 32-bit operating system. That means for me only the 32-bit version will be appropriate. If you see here 64-bit operating system, you might choose whichever you want. But I suggest the 64 version. So I download the bundle. Okay, so when the download is finished, let's click on the installation kit. And uh, let's start it. And then the installation kit will configure itself. And the program will start. The installation procedure is a simple one. I suggest you to install the JUnit system. It will be usable for class testing. And uh, it will ask us which directory we should uh, install the JDK. This default is appropriate. So click on next. And then it asks where to install the NetBeans IDE and the JDK is uh, configured. Next. And then after everything is set up, we can click on the install button. Okay, so after finishing the installation, the NetBeans installer asks us if we would like to contribute to the NetBeans projects by providing the anonymous usage data. You can leave it like this or you can switch it off if you want to. I switch it off. So I think it is finished. So the NetBeans IDE is uh, on the desktop. Let's start it. <laughs> 